everybody. Welcome to the U.S. Biathlon 2022 National Championships, the third day, Mountain Pass Lodge, Mount Van Hovenberg. Hello, everybody. I'm John Morgan, joined by three-time Olympian Lowell Bailey. Also, the uh, Peter Davis will be joining us later out onto the course. But, uh, Lowell, you've been coming out here for a long time. Unbelievable facility that they put out and how about the number of biathlon competitors we've had here this weekend yeah it's been it's been amazing to see it's a huge increase over year over year and uh i believe we had 193 uh competitors registrants for the uh for the races so that's a huge increase from uh just even last year but definitely breaks all the records in the in the books for U.S. Biathlon National Championships. And how about the venue? I mean, look at this place. It's just unbelievable. Here's the biathlon range. We'll see the competition. A lot of team starts, a little Masters race, some Devos. we got a lot of action coming at you the next two or three hours. We're going to recap a lot of what happened the past three days with the FIS Continental Cup women's ski jumping, FIS Nordic combined, two days of competition. We even had D3 hockey championships going on at the Olympic Arena all weekend. But look at this fantastic venue. And in consideration of the weather we've had this week, isn't it amazing the amount of snow they've been able to blow on the course? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, what you're seeing here with this drone footage of the, of the Biathlon Center is um, just an amazing transformation that the state of New York really got behind and, and uh, really Orta, Lake Placid, state of New York, all kind of made up their minds a couple years ago that hey we've had these olympic venues since 1980 and uh we still have that olympic spirit that's going strong so let's put some some resources into revamping them and and this is what happened so we've got some uh really world-class snowmaking facilities for the first time ever on a cross-country venue in northern new york um and that's really allowed us to host the competitions here. 